there was this really loud meowing coming from the pier. So I went out and he looked really tiny. He looked like he was crying for help. So I picked him up off the pier and brought him onto the boat. It seemed like he didn't even notice he was on a boat. He was walking normal. He was jumping around. He just took to it very easily. the boat for a reason and he chose the boat and that's the life that he wants to live. I think that Fred maybe wouldn't be Fred the way he is now if it weren't for the boat. He's like a born boat cat. Fred is the happiest cat ever. How he moves from boat to boat is something I've never seen before. Where are you going, Freddy? Oh, going? He acts as if he owns every single boat in the harbor. Why don't you come on your own boat? Fred, don't even think about it. He must have been a pirate in another life. I was actually really nervous at first when I brought Jolie and Fred together. They didn't seem to like each other very much at first, and then slowly they started getting more curious and kind of circling around each other. It took Fajoli some time to accept Fred, and he did, and that's awesome. They love each other a lot. They always want to be playing with each other. If Fajoli's hyper, he looks for Fred. If Fred is hyper, he looks for Fajoli. Fred will literally lay his whole body on top of Fajoli and licks Fajoli for hours. We were thinking if we could one day stop chartering and then be able to sail around Greece, saving cats just like Fred and Fajoli, and that would be the ideal. And that's a new thought. We never thought about doing that until Fred and Fajoli came together. Everything came together.